Hi, I'm Cameroon. And I'm Dane. And this is Plug In Jamaica. Electric vehicles. We know they exist and we know that they're here in Jamaica, but what has it been like so far owning an EV here in Jamaica? We have some questions to answer for those of you who might be curious about what it has been like owning an EV in Kingston, Jamaica. Ready, babe? Sure, let's go. All right. So one of the questions we've been asked is, why did you buy an electric vehicle? I mean, there's a gas station on every corner, but there isn't a charging station. So why take on such a risk? Yeah, and I get that question a lot, all the time. But before I answer, I just want to shout out Howard, my cousin in Florida. He has been trying to convince me to buy an electric vehicle here in Jamaica for years. Finally did it this year and I have no regrets. So why did we buy it? Well, based on our own research, we found that you, you save about 30% Mm -hmm. um, driving an EV versus by driving an internal combustion engine vehicle. So when we got the car and we did our own tests, I found I was saving probably a lot more than that. So let's give an example. I work in Spring Village, I live in Harbour View, and my daily commute is about 110 kilometers. Back and forth. Back and forth. Right. So on a monthly basis, I spend about $45,000 for gas. That's a lot of money for just transportation, right? So switching to EV, my car can do the commute to work and back on a single charge. And I decided that I would drive it to work. Cameroon works at Ligani and she drives a RAV4. Now driving both vehicles, we're spending way less than $45,000. So that gives you an idea of the savings you can make even with paying the electricity bill, the electricity bill went up from about five thousand to about nineteen to twenty-one thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Plus buying the gas for the RAV4 for the shorter commute, it's cheaper than if I was just driving to Old Harbour alone. All right, that's great. So you're saying that one charge mm -hmm. can take you to work and back, which is one hundred and ten kilometers. Yeah. How do you can explain? to persons that's another question that we get is how do you charge and how much charge do you get whenever you charge okay All right so to explain that I have to explain the capacity of the car so this is a Nissan Leaf 2014 it has a 24 kilowatt hour battery let me explain what that means the capacity can give you about hundred and thirty five kilometers on one charge now that is affected by how you drive the car mm -hmm. If you're running AC, if you're going uphill a lot, all of these factors come into play. But just say you're, you're driving a regular short commute or the average commuter's distance, um, you, you're probably going to use about half of the battery capacity in a day, which is about um, 16 or so kilometers per um, kilowatt hours of charge. So. That's, that's generally the amount we use up each day. I've never run out of charge. People always ask me. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. But um, so we need to tell them how we charge. And... Oh, yes. That's the next part of the question. So yeah. how we charge, we have a charger installed at the house. It's a level two charger, mm -hmm. meaning it uses 220, right? Voltage. 220, vol mm -hmm. 220 voltage. And it can charge my car from zero to full capacity in, in about four hours. Now, if you're using the charger that came with the car, which is a level one, that uses a 110 voltage. That's a, that's a regular charger at home. Regular three prong charger. Right. So it will charge from zero in about 12, 13 hours, but nobody practically has that to wait on a charge. Mm -hmm. Now, fast charging will also be coming to Jamaica soon. We have heard news of that. And that can charge your car from zero to full in about half an hour, right? But I've never had to charge from zero. Well, probably once, because we wanted to test how far the car can go. But on average, it's half, and it takes me about three hours or so to fully charge it from half. Okay, great. So another question that we had, and you touched on it a little bit, was have you ever run out of charge? and? <laughs> Um, this yeah. this term that EV owners have 
you know, have you ever experienced range anxiety? Range anxiety you know, yeah. how how do you deal with that? And yeah. you've never run out of charge, you think? Well, I have never run out of charge. <laughs> but big up again Howard, he had to do it. When he came here not too long ago, he drove the car, ran some errands out of town and came back and was in Portmore and thought he could make it. But no, he had to trickle charge at the house for a little bit. Yeah, but we need to stick up him because he went off course. Because that's another thing. <laughs> right, so owning an electric car, you have to plan your commute. That's that's one thing, and that's a good thing to me. I mean, it's not as um, carefree as with a, a gas car, where you know you'd have opportunities to buy gas along the way. The electric car, because your charging points are so limited, you, it forces you to plan your commute, and in, even in planning your commute, you find that you're saving cost on your transportation that way. So with him, he didn't really plan. He kind of spur of the moment did things, and because of that. He had to stop at someone's house and charge for a bit. But he made it home, so that's right. Home, that's yeah. a happy ending. Mm -hmm. So what's about range anxiety, right? We could uh, explain to, be, to persons yeah, what that means. Uh, range anxiety, what that looks like is you're driving and always looking on your dashboard to see how much right. distance you have left. Will I make it? You start getting nervous. You don't want to drive the car. You turn off the AC. It's crazy, but I must say at first, I had a range anxiety when I tried to drive to my workplace the first time. But when I found out that I consistently could get there and get back home with half the battery left still, um, that, that disappeared. I still look at it though, it's almost like a game because I'm trying to see how much I can be efficient with the car. So I find that even driving an electric car, I, I used to drive very fast, <laughs> sorry. Mm -hmm. but. Yeah, now driving an electric car, I don't drive as fast. So I'd probably become a safer driver. And to me, it's, it's not any less fun, so. All right. So we have the last question. And I think a lot of persons just, it, it really in conversation, it just comes up. So yeah, they ask us these official questions and then they ask, you know, so how has it been so far? What are the, you know, the top, the top things that you like so far? about the car so can you name five things um, that you really find fascinating about right. having an EV? Alright, I mentioned one of them already. My biggest one is the savings. More money in your pocket. We drive an electric car. Alright and also um, with that I don't have to stop at the gas station. Sometimes we join the long lines. The yeah. bad smell. I can't take it sometimes. So it's always a good feeling when I can just go to where I want to go and I can charge the car overnight on the low the low rate of the rate. So you know you, you, you have more flexibility in how much you want to to um, pay for your commute. Also in the future I want to put solar panels mm -hmm. on my roof so I can become fully energy independent. I can harness the sun's power, charge the car can sell it back to the grid I can store it in batteries they are very flexible um, with the electric car my second thing that I like about it zero emissions yeah so an ice car or internal combustion engine car of course you have carbon monoxides nitrogen oxides and you have particulate matter all of those things are mixed up in your exhaust coming out of your tailpipe <music> And it's harmful for the environment. It's um, ozone depleting gases, and also it's bad for your health. It can develop respiratory illnesses. So I like the fact that electric cars are zero emission cars. Third, I just think it's fun to drive. I mean, for me, they pick up instantly. Oh yeah, it's not ready. <laughs> it's not any pistons turning over to give you momentum it's electric current straight to the wheels so over the first 30 meters I think my car will beat any any fast car on the road over the first 30 meters so it's fun to drive it's also very comfortable to drive that's for comfortable yeah, to drive comfortable. there's no noise most of the weight of the car is in the center of the car where the batteries are under the chassis so going over bumps 
it's very smooth and it's very quiet. Um, if I don't know. Um, well, you said it earlier. My fifth that? one is that you drive super. And yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> he, he watches how much of yeah. the charity he uses up to go, and we plan more. We plan more, we so that's a more. big benefit. Yeah. And um, so, can you name any disadvantage whatsoever? But the one big one with our car is, is the rain. As I said, it's 135 kilometers. So if I wanted to drive from Kingston to Montego Bay, I've heard persons say it can work. But I we'll try it one day. That might be an episode. Let us know if you want to see that. But um, it's the range. But the new electric cars have better range. You can get a Tesla now with ranges going up to 500 kilometers and more. So you can go around Jamaica on one charge. And also you can, you can upgrade. You can upgrade, upgrade the battery pack. Right. So I don't plan to sell this car unless it's written off, right? I can take out the battery packs. I can use those batteries to store in the future when I'm going solar for my house. Because the house don't need a, no more than about 15, 16 kilowatt hours. And you can put in a bigger capacity battery in the car to give you the similar range of the new cars. Alright, yeah. great. Oh, there's another one. Maintenance. Can, yeah. Maintenance. So far we have That's a big one. It's a low maintenance. Costs less to maintain the car. Mm -hmm. Right? Definitely. <laughs> no oil changes. There is um no spark plugs. Yes, in the car. Electric no car. Of course no no moving parts. So when we service a car, it's just to check these parts, check the washer fluid and the lights. That's it. That's it. And That's it. um servicing well we had an accident recently yeah. and um it was okay to find parts mm -hmm. and find a mechanic to look at it so we're pretty comfortable with that that was another question we asked so that's it and remember to stay plugged in jamaica mm -hmm.